but they're not a number. They're very important to us, and we're going to take care of them. Right. And let's just um, touch on that fact, how important good oral hygiene is, because that can really affect the rest of your health. It sure can. It's been well documented, the link between periodontal disease and, and uh, heart disease, stroke. Um, your risk is greatly improved. With periodontal disease, also called gum disease, there's no warning signs. There's no pain, so people put it off until it gets very severe, and it compromises your total health. And it's much easier to prevent than treat any dental problem. It's also really important too, like if you're an expectant mother, because a girlfriend of mine is pregnant right now, mm -hmm. and she's you know doesn't really want to go to the dentist, but it's it's important to go. It's very important. Um, the increased risk of low birth weight babies is a big link with gum disease, so it's important to get that taken care of. And hormones rage, and it's very important to yeah. take care of your mouth. And also, it's a good example for your new baby that you're going to care enough about them and yourself to do what's right. Exactly. you got to put yourself first, too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, if someone has lost their teeth in an accident or just lost them, you know, for whatever reason, mm -hmm. what can you do to help them replace those teeth? Well, with things called implants, which is something also in the media a lot, we can get 90% of their chewing force, the natural teeth, back. So that is as close as we can get them back to the natural tooth, and that is always our best treatment option for people. So we like to discuss those options with them. And it, it, it can, you can do that for anybody at any age, right? At any age. So again, if they've been putting things off or they've been told in the past there was nothing they can do, our technology is constantly improving. And so we have options available to them that they might not even had five years ago. Can you just walk me through what it's like, excuse me, to get a, <coughs> a mini implant? Can you just walk me through And that? mini implants are small little implants. Um, there's usually very little uh, discomfort with them. It's a little incision. It's a little tiny titanium little post that goes in the jaw. And if they have dentures, we can actually attach the denture right to that mini implant. And it gives them stability and confidence and get them eating what they want to eat again. Great. Now, I know in my parents' generation, it was just, you know, common that as you age, you get all your teeth pulled and you get dentures. But that's not the case these days, right? Well, it's really not the case any time span, but that's what just people believed. We're meant to keep those teeth all our life, and people like me are there trying to, to make sure they do that. So we start them very young, and we want to keep, keep their teeth all their life. They lose them, we can help them. Now, how important is it to come for your twice yearly checkup, or do you recommend to come even more often than that? Well, a lot of people, if they've had if they're smokers, 